It's an exciting day for Scratch Dad. Tan Ren sent me one of their knives and asked for a product review in exchange, and I'm gonna give it to him. Let's see what's inside. The first thing we'll review is the packaging. Now I've ordered Shun knives before, which are pretty expensive knives, and they don't come in packaging this nice. However, the knife did have some residue on it, which was a little bit concerning because I have no idea what this substance is. Now this is a seven inch Chinese cleaver, and one of the things you want your cleaver to be able to do is chop. And I assure you, Fruit Ninja with this blade would be no problem IRL. But I wanted to know the full utility of the blade. So the next thing I did is try to thinly slice a tomato. Now I usually use a Santoku seven inch blade for this type of job, but I was really impressed with the cleaver's ability to slice a tomato really thinly. So at this point, I know it chops really well, it slices really well, and I wanted to see how it held up to dicing. If you don't have the right knife for this kind of job, your blade can end up just kind of mushing your tomato. But I felt like the cleaver did a pretty good job here. And the thing I like about the size of the cleaver is that sometimes I use a scraper to pick up all of my chopped produce. This thing's so big that I don't have to dirty another dish. So now we know it chops, slices, and dices, and then I wanted to see how well it could mince. I loved how the weight of the blade made it really easy to pop the garlic out of the paper. And the blade itself is so fine that it made the mincing work of the garlic really easy too. The other thing I like about the knife is that it's pretty good regardless of what your cutting style is. So if you like to rock your blade forward when you're cutting, it's good for that. If you prefer to pull your blade when cutting, it's good for that too. And if you prefer chopping, this is probably one of the safer blades to use for that. Because the blade's so tall, you would have to work really hard to nick yourself. Now, I don't get paid on any sales of this cleaver, so I have no link to provide you with. The deal for me was receiving free knives in exchange for this review. But here's how you can find it in Amazon. And while I can't yet speak to the durability of the knife, I will say that I'm really impressed with the value you're getting for the price of the knife. I hope you enjoyed this review as much as I enjoy getting free stuff and let me know if you've got any products that you'd like me to review next.